Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to Concept One. Today we're talking about high pressure, high performance power steering hose kits. First, let's take a look at the hose itself. We provide black AQP hose, and while you may find AQP hose elsewhere, typically it's blue in color, which I suppose is fine if you have a, a blue car, but we found that black uh, looks good with all the two colored vehicles, including blue cars. So we went ahead and source some, some black hose. It consists of a sturdy rubber inner hose covered with a braided steel mid-layer followed with a black nylon braided outer hose. We provide six feet of black AQP hose which should be more than enough to cover your installation including from your steering gear to your return hose and from the feed line of the pump to the pressure side of your steering gear. It's worth noting that this hose, being high pressure hose, is extremely sturdy. That means it takes some effort to cut it. In-house we use a, a big chop saw. You can also use a electrician's cable cutter. And you'll put a link to a part number uh, in the description of the video below. Either way works very easily and prevents any unnecessary fraying, but it's worth noting that you will need some special tools to cut this hose, and it's also worth noting that the hose is, is strong enough that you're not going to be able to crimp with a typical hose clamp, so, so don't even try. You need to cut it and use the included AN uh, hose ends to do proper installation. Basically, as long as you get a good, clean cut, you will have an easy time assembling the hose and the hose ends. One thing worth noting is before you go ahead and do final assembly, make sure you clean out the inside of the hose to make sure there's no trash in there that could end up in your power steering system. So a little soap and water, uh, air hose, whatever you like to use to make sure you are cleaning out the inside of that hose. And then the hose end will simply press right on to the uh, AQP hose. We're looking at three kits here, HK021, which includes inverted flare fittings for the steering gear, which is appropriate for 1979 and earlier steering boxes, HK022, which includes metric O-ring fittings for the 1980 or later steering boxes, and we offer HK020, which is for guys like me who actually don't know what I need and I'm not afraid to order something that has both the inverted flare and metric fittings in there. Uh, if you decide to go with the HK020, you will end up with two extra fittings. You're only going to use two of the fittings, either inverted flare or metric, and then you'll have two fittings for your vast collection of fittings that you don't use. The steel inverted flare fittings for the 1979 and older steering boxes feature an angled seat on the inside of the fitting that matches a complementary seat on the inside of the steering box, and that's how that seals. For the 1980 and newer metric style steering boxes, it seals by way of this hole, which is included with the two metric boxes. One last piece of the puzzle, this kit is designed to work with Dash 6 AN fittings on the power steering pump side. All Concept 1 power steering pumps included with our accessory drive kits, including this beautiful mini billet reservoir, are designed to accept Dash 6 AN fittings. On the pump side, we go ahead and install a fitting directly into the aluminum housing, and on the reservoir side, it is threaded to accept a Dash 6 AM fitting. The Dash 6 AM fittings for the pump and the reservoir are included with our power steering pump and reservoir and therefore are not included as part of this host. The kit does include adapter fittings for the steering box side, but not for the steering pump and reservoir side. And that's it. We also carry high pressure power steering hose kits for cars with steering racks, hydro boost setups, and forward applications in addition to the GM application you see here. Be sure to check out our high pressure power steering hose kit section for more details.